What's up, people? Today, we're going to look at some Indian nutrition influencers who give really good advice. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first is without a doubt, Masala Lab. He's one of my favorites. Uh, he talks about food science. He's really knowledgeable and doesn't needlessly fear monger their audience like a lot of diet influencers these days do. So if you want good food science related stuff, go to his page. Don't forget to follow him. And he talks about not just food, also a lot, even kitchen engineering like he does in this video. How a low cost rice cooker knows when the rice is cooked. It's very clever engineering. You put rice and water and turn it on. The heating element transfers heat to the cooking vessel. And as temperature rises, the rice absorbs the water and swells. Once all the water is absorbed, the rice is cooked. One, when you heat water, its temperature rises, but as it gets close to the boiling point, 100 Celsius, the temperature stops rising because it takes additional energy to fully become vapor. This is the latent heat of vaporization. So a vessel with water will stay below 100 Celsius till all of it has evaporated or has been absorbed by the rice. Two, some magnetic materials lose their magnetism above a certain temperature called Curie temperature. Now imagine a material whose Curie temperature is around 100 Celsius. See, uh, normally when I hear people throwing around science words just to sound knowledgeable, I can immediately spot when someone doesn't know what they're talking about or they're trying to impress someone who doesn't already know the, the actual science behind whatever they're talking about. Masala Lab is not like that because these are things when I hear, I know exactly what he's talking about because See, he, whatever he's saying is consistent with the science I know. So when he speaks science, I can immediately tell, hey, this is exactly what he says this is because I've heard this before and it's consistent with what he's saying. So that's what this is like. I don't want to watch the whole video here. So I'll let you go ahead and take a look at his page. Follow him. Uh, and we're going to move on to the next person on the list. This Independence Day, I want you to free yourself from the good food versus bad food trap. Are you feeling bad about indulging in bad foods? This emotional baggage can mess with your mental well-being and cause disordered eating patterns. Labeling foods as bad can make you crave for them more, leading to all-out binges. So let's say goodbye to this mindset. Your health isn't defined by a single food choice. So embrace variety and enjoy those occasional treats that make life delicious. Yep. Food isn't just fuel. It's culture, connection, happiness. So let's savor each bite and enjoy the pleasure of eating. This is really good. Uh, I'm not playing the whole video. You can go check out uh, the page, Saffron Trail, Dr. Nandita Ayer. Uh, check it out. It's really good, wholesome advice like what you saw right now. It's almost pointless labeling foods as either good or bad. That doesn't make sense. Your diet is not one single food, right? So there's no point in making sure every single food has all these different nutritional requirements. It's, it's almost meaningless. So like she said, and this is really good nutrition advice along with uh, all the other stuff I've seen her on her page. Eat a lot of variety of different foods to make sure you get all your nutrients in different foods. Food, like she said, is part of not just fuel, part of culture, part of uh, traditions, part of, uh, you know, part of what you share with people you love. So you have to take all that into account uh, when you think about food. So this is really good advice. And she doesn't fear monger. In fact, she does parodies of fear mongering diet pages. And it's really good. So let's move on to the next person. This page, Diet Tube India, is again really good advice. It does a lot of content calling out people who misinform their audience. And uh, he does videos like these. Let's listen. How many meals do we need in the day? Some people say that we need to eat something every two hours. We need to eat 6-8 small and frequent meals because it boosts the metabolism. I mean, there is so much in the world that it will make 6-8 meals and then eat it. On the other hand, there are also people who say that we need to eat only one meal in the day because it will be detoxed from the body. Only in one meal, how do you complete your nutrient requirement in one meal? 
बात तो ये है कि ये दोनों ग्रुप्स मेटाबॉलिज्म या डिटॉक्स जैसे वर्ड्स का यूज करके आपका काटते हैं आपको कितनी मील्स खानी चाहिए ये डिपेंड करता है इंडिविजुअल पर उसके लाइफस्टाइल पर उसके शेड्यूल पर लेकिन ज्यादातर लोगों के लिए थ्री टू फाइव मील्स सफिशियंट होती है आई होप दिस एप्स आप दिन में कितनी मील्स खाते हो मुझे कॉमेंट्स में बताना See this is good advice he he calls out people that are misinforming you Bhavesh Gupta do follow him guys some really good advice on this page let's look at the next one this is another page i've seen uh, coach rajan uh, check it, check it out no nonsense no bullshit good diet advice uh, he he also calls out a lot of people that are giving bad diets like this uncle ji is like aaj to attack hoke rahega dil par आपको यहाँ पर हमारे जैसे नॉर्मल लोगों का ऑमलेट खत्म हो जाता ये तो ऐसे ही डाल दिया बटर कोने में थोड़ा सा कहीं पड़ा होगा इसमें मजा थोड़े ना है अब आ रही है ना फील डालिए ना दो चीज कल जी वो चीज के चक्कर में ऑमलेट कच्चा ही पलट दिया अरे ये तो राजमा का भुना मसाला है अंडों में क्या कर रहा है यार फिर डिसअपॉइंटमेंट हो गई इतना सा ही बटर ये कैसे खाना है उसके साथ ओ सारे अनकोक ऑमलेट अंकल जी ने हांडी में डाल दिए ये तो अंकल जी ने अपने दिल पे ले ली बात अब नहीं रोक सकता कोई ले बेटा और चीज तू बेटे आधा किलो बटर की ईट ले तू खा बटर अंकल जी चीज तो बढ़िया लग रही है बट ये खाना कैसे है टिप बता रहा हूँ 2023 में आठ बचाने की किसी भी ऑमलेट वाले को बोल मत देना कि भैया बटर थोड़ा सा एक्स्ट्रा डाल दो वरना Yeah, guys. I'm not for, uh, watching the whole video, uh, but you can check it out. Diet monetization, really good page. And the last person on this list. This is Good Food Guru, and uh, the page is uh, the page does some really creative skit-based humor, and uh, it's really interesting content. It's a kind of small page, but really good advice on this page. Do check it out, guys. There's no formula to eating well, and without doubt, whole foods are primary sources of nutrition. So you got to choose variety and buy foods as per your budget. The secret formula, if any, is to keep repeatedly doing the same thing most days, most weeks. Look around you. The amount of money one has is not a guarantee to a disease-free life, but what all of us can do is minimize hyperpalatable foods like chocolates, cookies, avoid smoking and alcohol, and stop wasting your time getting into useless conversations on social media with people who are not. Not even qualified to speak about nutrition. This is really good wholesome advice. Follow the pages that I showed you. I can guarantee you they will give you really good nutrition advice. And yeah, that's that's what I want to say th- with this video. Uh, shout out to all those people. I've talked to all of them. They they're really really interesting to listen to, and they give really valuable advice on social media. So follow these pages instead of the. fear mongering pages that most people do lastly i thought i should say this uh, by no means is this a complete list there are lots more people uh, that i haven't mentioned in this video but also give really good advice so maybe there might be a part 2 to this video uh, depending on how this video does so yeah uh, see you in the next one